If you recall from the first video, your raw data file folder contains just over 260 individual text files. At this point, we've imported one out of 260. It would be time consuming, boring, and potentially lead to errors if we use a different input data tool to import each text file. Instead, a useful programming feature would be to make use of a wildcard. Sourcing from Wikipedia and software, a wildcard character is a kind of placeholder represented by a single character, such as an asterisk, which can be interpreted by the computer program as a number of literal characters or an empty string. In our case, we can change the input data configuration to find all text files located in the raw data file by replacing the specific text file reference for Flanagan's 2017-10K with an asterisk. Once you've done so, go ahead and click anywhere. And again, you may have to reconfigure some of the configurations to make sure that it's read in as a delimited file with no delimiter and that the first row contains field names. And then quickly check your configuration window to verify that none of the other configurations have changed. You can then go ahead and save and run your workflow. After running your workflow, you'll see that you import a large number of text files from the same file folder. If you click on the input data tool, then you can actually scroll down and see the data that was imported. While there are any number of rows of data associated with each mDNA that was imported, what you can see in the file name field, which we created using option four of the input data tool, that this field is going to be very useful in helping us and Alteryx know exactly which text file the mDNA that's contained in field one came from. You will learn how to condense the data spread across rows into a single row in step eight. As one last step, let's add an annotation to help us as we continue to work through the workflow. To enter an annotation, navigate over to the annotation tag in the configuration window. Then click in the annotation box, type steps one, two, and three, and then hit enter so that the asterisk.txt is on its new line. When you click off, you'll see that the annotation below our first tool indicates which steps that first tool is performing. For those of you that are using my results window to gauge whether your input data process performed appropriately, I want to make you aware of something very important. The videos are going to use an abbreviated set of data. This is intentional so that I may demonstrate the process required for transformation, text analytics, and data visualization without revealing any of the answers. In short, my results window is not going to look like your results window. At the end of this step, you should have imported 264 files that matches the number of files that were in your original file folder. Additionally, you should have generated 641,408 records. If your files did not import properly, please go back and rewatch the videos for steps one, two, and three. There were a lot of configuration options that we changed during this process, and all of those configuration options will affect whether your import is successful. Similar to the relative file path, I want to make a couple important notes regarding the use of a wildcard. Wildcards use the first file that's imported as the template by which all subsequent files are deemed to be acceptable or unacceptable. The wildcard import configuration is somewhat flexible in that it does not have a problem if subsequent files being imported have more or less rows. It also doesn't have a problem if the subsequent file being imported has the same columns, but the columns are in a slightly different order. However, there will be a problem if the subsequent file being imported has more columns than the original file that is imported, or the column names are not identical. The data in these additional columns can be lost upon import when using a wildcard. Alteryx makes this loss of data easy to spot because you will get a warning in your results window. Good job. Now that you have successfully imported all of your data, you can begin the process of transforming the data into a format that is useful for text analytics.